Hi YouTube. I'm a MacGyver fan, but unlike MacGyver, I don't have the advantage of movie magic. So if I want a tool, yes, sometimes I can improvise, but most of the time it's easiest to have it with me. This is what I carried from 2001 until oh, six months ago or so. Uh, this is the Swiss Tool RS. And um, this is the basic nylon case. Uh, goes through your belt, no quick release, which I kind of like. I prefer that it actually stays there. If I have to take it off, I have to take my belt off. No big deal. Um, but all it holds is this. More recently, I created this case, which is just a ba the basic, again, nylon case. But I, put in, I wrapped this uh, stretchy fabric around it and put a place for a flashlight and a pen and actually a place here for a little battery and uh, so that actually gave me a nice advantage because all of a sudden I had a writing utensil, a flashlight, and a backup battery all on the same case. So this is my solution. This is a Skinth Mondo Shield. I uh, ordered it from Canada. Very good price. And uh, this is what I use uh, on my belt to carry my tools, um, whatever I might need or want to want to have uh, for a day out. What do I carry in here? Well, this is the star of the show, Victorinox Swiss Tool RS. Uh, this is the RS model is specific to having this blade which is they call it the rescue blade or the seatbelt cutter uh, you can run this soft or this rounded edge under clothing or, fa or under or on skin and you can use this edge to cut off uh, say a pants leg if you're in an emergency but it makes a really nice serrated blade for cutting rope this mondo shield the skint mondo shield is the only one of these these slimline ones that allows you uh, that is large enough to take this because it is a little over four inches in uh, in length here. You see four inches, four and a half. Continuing on with Victorinox, this is the Victorinox Victorinox ratchet. Um, it's a basic ratchet screwdriver, but it is very tiny, and they've even removed the need for a switch on the ratchet. If you want to. Uh, Go the other direction here. It does take two hands. There we go. Uh, all you have to do is pop it out and switch it in the other way. They say if you're looking at the Victorinox logo while you're while you're using the ratchet, then you are tightening. Right now, as it is, I'm loosening, and it's got a basic end over here. Uh, you'll see the screwdriver bits later. The rest of the ones. These are just the ones that I most commonly use, so those are there. Uh, continuing on with Victorinox, I've already done a, a video on the Swiss Card light. Uh, it gives me a backup light source, knife, scissors. I like these scissors a lot, they're very handy. Screwdriver, pen, uh, tweezers. It's all there. Backup for a lot of the things that are in here. Because some of those little things are fiddly, but they do what they're supposed to do. Uh, Victorinox, again, these are nail clippers, nail file. Just kind of handy, because I tend to bite my fingernails, and maybe now I won't do that so much. I like how slim they are. Okay, moving on to the flashlight. Of course I've got to have a flashlight. I prefer the AAA size because it actually fits very ni neatly in a pocket. And uh, this is the ITP A3 EOS. Um, if you have any problems with bright flashes, you might want to look away. Uh, you can see the three brightness levels, normal, low, and high. They say the one lumen will last you for 44 hours uh, on low, uh, which is a long time. I generally don't have to replace the battery on this more than once every couple of months and it just runs on that one AAA and I can pretty much use it as long as I like. But 
if ever I need a backup, I do actually have a, st a spare battery back here in the bottom of this case, uh, wrapped in plastic. It's kind of hard to get out of there, but not something I expect to use very often. All right, this is a uh, Migros, which is basically the Walmart of Switzerland basic pen. St uh, there we go, ballpoint pen, and it does actually have a little squishy, uh, squishy thing there to use as a uh, t on a touch screen. So I can use it on my tablet, use it on my phone. It's been handy a couple of times, but it just kind of came with the pen. All right. Now, one thing that the Swiss Tool RS does not have, that some of the Swiss Tools have, is a, is a metal file. But I actually like having those to be a little more disposable, uh, because you can really mangle a metal file or a metal saw by using it on a metal that's too hard. And I'm, I don't know all that much about different strengths of metal, so I'm likely to damage it. So this, a few bucks, this is a metal file. It was originally six inches, I cut it down to four inches. And uh, I have a triangular file with three surfaces, so bang for the buck. All right, before I get out of here, uh, this is something that I don't use very often, but uh, it has been used. And since I'm in Switzerland, I suppose that I should have a knife with a uh, with a corkscrew. Uh, I've actually used the screwdriver far more often. It's kind of handy that it fits in there. When my wife and I went to London, they gave us these. And they are for your Oyster card, for your Transit card for London. But, uh, it's a nice little plastic case that I can sort of arrange everything. I can see exactly what's in there. And uh, it doesn't take up much more space than it would with just the, the tools. And that way the tools aren't just falling down in the bottom and getting lost or falling out. Because you can see that it is actually open there. Uh, and it's got a little plastic edge there so it holds it all in place. These are uh, Uncle Bill's sliver grippers. Just very pointy, sharp, nice tweezers. Not very expensive there. Uh, this is actually a USB cable. Uh, it doesn't look so much like it, but once you um, open that up and pull this cap off, you can see, oh, okay. So this is perfect for charging my cell phone or my uh, Kindle off of a computer or tablet, anything that, or even a, US, a wall, wall wart if uh, I need to plug it in and charge it. Uh, this is nice. I have another one that's not quite as flexible, but I quite like this one. I don't know how long it'll last good so far. Um, this has become a necessity. My glasses come unscrewed all the time, so you notice I actually have two eyeglass screwdrivers. I've already shown you one. There it is. Uh, I keep it in a straw here so that it doesn't poke a hole through, um, cause any problems. Alright, these straws actually contain my screwdriver bits for the ratchet again. Uh, I realized that this was one of the easiest ways to keep them from rattling around and banging and falling. It's just to cut open a straw, slide them inside, it holds them, they don't fall out. We'll see. For right now I quite like this system. Uh, I would prefer something a little bit more um, elegant, but cheap, it works. All right. This is a Boy Scout Hot Spark. Just a backup. Uh, if I wanted to make fire, I can make fire. I would just need a little bit of kindling, which I should have because I have paper in my wallet. This is my only handmade creation in the kit. Uh, I have a hacksaw blade. Uh, this is a T-shank hacksaw blade, just a basic blade for a um, j uh, for a jigsaw, and well. It's nice, it gives me a nice little saw blade, but just holding on to it, you don't have that much grip. So I, I made this. I slide that through there, put my finger there with a little bit of pressure. Now I can pull and push 
with no problem uh, and it actually will hold. When you're using a, uh, a hacksaw blade most of the cutting goes on the pull stroke anyway so with this pin that is through there it's not going anywhere. Uh, I quite like this and uh, I could add other hacksaw or other um, blades to my kit very easily and then I would have all sorts of knives but at this point this is the only one I can think of that I would want all sorts of saws. Um, this twist tie is here because if I actually wrap the twist tie around here uh, it will hold together even tighter. And also if I want a slightly different angle, if I'm in a more close environment, uh, I can do this and it allows me to use it that way. I still get a pretty good amount of, I can press down on it very hard with this angle. So, yeah, that's a fun little thing. So, that is all the stuff that I've just pulled out of this case. I really like having all this stuff with me, and I have another kit that I will show you later here. Uh, it looks like an Altoid stand, but it's not. It's Swiss. I'll show you that later. Thank you.